What's up y'all? How are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. So the energies have been like so funky town and I was just like getting messages today that we would be going through kind of like a reversal shift of energies and right now it feels like that is the case <laughs> like we are going through Lorena hey girl hey Mel how are you so we're definitely going through like a major shift right now and just so strange but today <laughs> I was getting messages from my spirit team to change my channel back to Truth Warrior. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, of course, like I, you know, I did everything to try to like change directions, change gears. And it's like, I'm getting like reshipped back somehow. Like I'm being sent back. <laughs> <laughs> to truth warrior and it just feels like no matter how hard I try to leave government and politics it just keeps coming back around and it's just been like this really weird shift I don't know it's like a reversal of energies hi Lynette how are you and it's confusing as hell to me but it feels positive and it feels like we are supported in this shift and it feels like I just heard it's time to rise. So this is definitely talking about those divine feminine energies coming in for 2023 in a very powerful voice and energy. <laughs> and it's about us stepping into our power in this coming year. So um, I think that is part of this energy. Hi, Mary. And it's like I said, no matter how many times I tried to switch gears, it's like I just can't like switch gears. Like it's like there's something like we're not finished over here. <laughs> Like, we're not finished. Um, and there's something about me truth-telling. And as I was, like, changing the channel back today and changing it all back to Truth Warrior, it's like I, I was kind of, like, hesitant and paused. And I was going to like, just turn on the camera to connect with you all. And I saw orbs go by, two orbs go by for the first time. And I don't even know how long, like I don't see orbs anymore. Like I just don't ever see them around me. And I felt like that was just validation that, you know, what we're being supported right now. So um, I hope that that helps to just give you guys maybe a little comfort, but the energies are really, have they been really dicey? I have been psychically attacked for, I want to say like three days straight like I have been psychically attacked um I feel like there's just been this huge ramp up of crazy energies um it feels like it's coming from multiple locations and you know it just it feels like we're in this like epic battle in the unseen worlds and the only people that know about it are the intuitives and possibly some other people who are behind the scenes that are working either in our government um, on a very high level. And that's it. <laughs> it's a pretty lonely world uh, uh, up here, okay? I just want to say in the ascended lands, um, you guys have probably, if you guys have seen any of Steve Noble's meditations. Um, he's obviously pretty in tune to what's going on and he lays it out like no joke in every meditation and is there guiding and helping us to get through this turbulent land. But the truth tellers right now are integral right now. Um, they're important. And um, 
I think it, it, it's important right now for us to, you know, step it up, okay? That's kind of what I'm getting right now. We have to step it up, and it's go time. <laughs> so, um, so, on that note, um, I think things are going to be shifting in an opposite direction in this new year, for me at least, um, and they're mentioning right now Oswald is coming up, okay? So, oh my God, Michelle's saying, okay, Michelle, you're you're super in tune to what's going on. Our third and final Pluto, re Pluto return for 2023 hits tomorrow. Okay, Michelle, please enlighten us with Pluto. 2022. <laughs> Yeah, we're not in 23 yet, but um, what's what's the deal with Pluto? What does Pluto um, govern? I don't I don't know what that governs. What like what house? I don't know. Does anybody have any information on that? There is something coming in. I'm hearing something about things being brought to light, and there's something coming in really strong right now as I'm connecting with you all about Oswald. Okay, so that is back to JFK's assassination. So my spirit guides are taking me back there. They wanted me to do a read on JFK, I want to say like earlier in the year when I started to do channel sessions. I did a channel session with Steve Jobs. Um, he started coming in really strong. And then I did a channel session with General Colin Powell. And I did two with him. And um, I don't know, you know, it's like these souls who have passed on, it's like they they're breaking free. Like they want their they want their messages out. <laughs> they're like no joke, you know, like they they want to talk. Um and so they're talking about JFK. I don't feel like they want me to do I don't feel like they wanted me to do a channel session with him though. I think they wanted me to uncover some stuff that he was connected to, but Every time I think of JFK, okay, every time he comes to mind just now, I always hear Bergdorf, okay, like right in connection with JFK and Manhattan and is that like, is that the store like Bergdorf's? Like I'm so confused by that, but there is something around that that I'm like confused about. So anyways, there is something coming up around JFK, but they are mentioning Oswald right now. And so I think this is obviously probably in connection to the recent docs that were brought to light and released by the CIA. And I think that there is a lot more truth telling that is coming out as a result of this. Pluto will drag up old things. <laughs> Dude, that's some trippy shit. So Truth Warrior it definitely falls into that category because I started it. A while ago like five years ago and um they're saying it's like a rebirth of the old okay that's what my guys just um gave me a message about so that's interesting so it's like kicking up the old they're saying to like rebirth it so i think that's why we are looking at a lot of things i think we're looking even for the country the united states i think we're looking at our ethics our our, our laws our government it's like all of it's getting kicked up. Even our alien contracts. I mean, I've been getting a lot of like, I was just flipping through um, like the, the TV guide the other day and I just saw like ancient aliens and one of the episodes was talking about the aliens and then um, in the 1940s and they were talking about Roswell. And so all of this shit is like getting, like all the truth is getting kicked back up again with our alien contracts and i have been getting like just messages around um an admiral that was in the navy and i i i don't know i was like channeling him one night like randomly and <laughs> he is not friendly at all and i don't know why he was coming through but i feel like he's still alive or something i think he turned into an alien that's where i'm at with him i don't know what happened to him but he's he's not cool and not nice anyway <laughs> But everything's coming, everything's coming to light. And as we shift into the fourth dimension, um, the awareness of everything around us, like realizing that we're not alone in this galaxy is a big part of the fourth dimension is realizing there's a, so much, such a bigger <laughs> scope of things. There's such a bigger picture, you know, we, we are not the only ones, you know, that matter here. There are other, um, 
species or races that are available that are around. <laughs> and so I think a lot of that also is coming into our awareness. So I think a lot of stuff is moving to the forefront, like aliens and anything connected to aliens is going to come to the forefront, which would be putting then on blast um, any type of groups or religions connected to aliens. Okay, so I feel like a lot of stuff is going to be coming up. Yeah, it, is, it just feels like a kick kickback of energies. But the 1940s is like, I keep seeing that time period like over and over again. And, um, you know, I was visiting with family, I'm visiting with family right now. And I keep seeing the Navy photos, like, they keep, like my guides keep highlighting the Navy over and over again to me, like, what is up with the Navy? Like the Navy was coming up last year when I was reading politics, um, that there was something missing, like we were missing some kind of metal thing that was missing from the Navy. That's what was coming up, one of the Navy ships. And I don't know what the significance is of the Navy, but I keep seeing it like everywhere. <laughs> it's, like, it's everywhere. <laughs> it's like, what's going on with the Navy? Like what happened? You know, what happened? So um, for those of you who are with me right now, this could be like way over your head and you don't know what, like you might not be familiar with any of this stuff. But um, I, I guess like in general, I just wanted to get just some regular messages for you. Like right now I'm hearing like we are cleansing um, right now a lot of energies. Like we're going through like a deep detox of energies and it just feels like we're almost energetically moving into like a new timeline. Um, but it's interesting with this Pluto return that it's like kicking up all of this old stuff. And it's going and hitting the masses. Like, it, this stuff is, like, everywhere. It's, like, all over the place. Like, I, I feel like every video on YouTube, it's, like, talking about this stuff. <laughs> and it's just, like, all, all of this stuff is coming in there. So, hey, Christina, how are you? <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, I'm just curious, like, for you guys, do you have anything that you're feeling energetically or intuitively? Like, are you guys picking up on anything? Um, just kind of wanted to get, like, a feel for where you all are at, at right now. And while I ask that question, I'm going to see if there's any messages right now that my guides want me to get out. So, God of Angels, are there any other messages that you want me to get out right now? So they're saying something about like people getting like spiritually attacked, okay? Um, and so I think that was Christina. Did Christina just talk? I'm feeling a shift. Okay, yeah. Um, so some people could be getting spiritually attacked right now um, because they're saying like the energies are pretty volatile right now behind the scenes. Um, okay, like let's clarify more about that. I do have the Fool and this came up in the weekly energy reading as well when I was doing the Patreon reading that I do um, every week over there. So if you guys are interested in that and supporting me over there, you're welcome to go to Patreon. Um, so yeah, basically I feel like well, this is like a starting off point for like a new era is what they're saying. So what's up with these um, spiritual attacks going on behind the scenes? People are getting spiritually and energetically attacked, they're saying from dark people, dark groups, and elite, okay? So a lot of um, this stuff is starting to come to light. I, you know, I came clean that I believe I, I was attacked by MK Ultra. I was targeted um, because of my channel, because I was reading on the world government and politics, and they targeted me and basically wanted to crash and burn me down. And that's why I changed the name of my channel and everything along those lines. But it's happening to a lot of people. Like, it's happening to the masses. Like, I'm one of many. It's like, uh, that's all I kept hearing was I'm one of many. And they're talking about that right now, my guides, that a lot of people are getting spiritually and energetically attacked. Um, so they're saying that we need to, like, safeguard ourselves, safeguard our energy, um, healing sessions, um, healing rituals is coming up right now. Um, yeah, Admiral Bird, Mary. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> that Admiral guy. <laughs> so, um, definitely, like, 
um, shielding and protecting yourself. They're saying that there's like a lot of dark people on this planet, okay? And they are attacking us mentally and psychically, okay? And they're doing it to harm us. And they're attacking our, like, our psychic centers and our minds. And they're doing it through all types of channels, okay? So those are the messages that are coming in around these spiritual attacks. They're mentioning TV as one of the channels of how they're attacking us. They're saying something about like systems, antenna systems, Wi-Fi, um, mobile devices. They're attacking us mentally, physically, psychically, and trying to take us out. So that is definitely what's going on, and that's the level of the attacks. Now, depending on how ascended you are, and how sensitive you are, you're going to be feeling this on like such the next level. Okay. Like I, I mean, for me, it just felt like it's like combing through, like it is so heavy. Like I can't even tell you how heavy it is. And it feels like they are attacking us on such a level and they feel like nobody is going to know about it. And Nobody is going to find out about it. That's kind of like the energies of these attacks, okay? Because um, I'm also getting SpaceX coming in with that. And I'm not sure what that is connected to. If that is if that is connected to Elon or if that's connected. I don't know what the fuck that's connected to. And then they're talking about the black budget right now. So there is something connected to that. And they're saying a satellite system that they are using to attack us. Um, and it's a weapon system that goes out through satellites using some type of like raise, it feels like a razor technology. Like it feels like it's like, like a razor beam technology that they're using. Um, hot baths and hot cocoa guys. <laughs> good, good one to lighten the mood. So it sounds like SpaceX is trying to take us out, but just take a bath and everything will be fine. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> no worries. They're talking about the elitists right now coming through in this group and the cabal that are a part of this. Um, and it's an attack system that they have created through some type of Infrared technology and warfare. Okay, I'm channeling this right now. I'm getting really hot talking about it. So, um, and I have seen something along the lines of the COVID-19 in China. Like I've seen that in my dream state where I saw a woman just getting violently ill in the middle of the street. So, it, and it did feel like there'd be like another pandemic or a wave of something. Like um, I'm hearing something like bioweapons coming through. And the last regime, that's what I'm hearing. It's like the last regime. So that's a lot. <laughs> so like, let's dial it back. Cause this is what I would do with Truth Warrior, right? I mean, I'd be like laying down some pretty heavy shit and trying to dial it back and try to help us to get through the energies and try to understand. There is something coming in around Michelle Obama coming through that she's being attacked in some way. And I'm also getting Kamala Harris, okay? I'm getting that they are going after very powerful women right now. And they are attacking them mentally, psychically, and intuitively. They're doing the same thing to them that they did to me, okay? And we have to stand up and unite together, okay? All these females, because it is a form of a genocide, okay? That's kind of the plan and the backing of it, okay? They are trying to take us out in an undercover way where none of them can be incriminated, incarcerated, or have any type of thing. And as I'm saying that, they're saying hello from Texas. And that is one of the main hubs. Texas is the fire hub of a lot of this dark stuff that's going on. Um, I had a lot of people that were around me when I was doing Truth Warrior that were from Texas that were baiting me, okay? And they were definitely not good people and they were definitely part of this underground secret society world. 
<clears throat> so they're talking about COVID right now. So my guides are not talking about COVID. They're taking us to the psychic attacks right now and the spiritual attacks, okay? And that they are targeting us with satellite systems and razor beams. And I just saw an orb, which makes me feel so special. <laughs> And my guides want me to get this out because we need to know that they're trying to take us out and that they're attacking us right now. And it's something that we need to know is really happening on a global scale so that we can fight back with the correct measures, they're saying. So this is not just the United States in this, okay? We have to come in and at it from a global perspective, okay? All the governments have to come together. All of the different countries have to come together to combat this, okay? We are the world. Yeah, Johnny, your energy came through. Look at it. I got glow up from Johnny. That's right, Johnny. We are the children. We are the ones to make a better <laughs> let's start live so yeah so we have to rise now guys because we're under attack and this is where we're at like we have to rise as a people because it's serious it's like a big deal okay because these people really believe that they are going to take over the world and 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 so it's right now it's like we have to stand up for our right okay Okay, so other messages around these attacks right now. Um, messages around these attacks. Um, depending on how sensitive you are, Christina, as far as like symptoms of the attacks, you would be tired, run down. Um, if they are actually targeting you, it can feel like there is something on your head. <laughs> it feels like a metal plate is on your head attacking you. And Depending on how hard they're targeting you, they set up an earpiece to you and then they start telling you things like um, that's what they've done to me. They basically put some kind of like black app shit on my ear and I can hear them cursing at me when I mess with their energies in any way. So um, <laughs> they could be taking it to that level for many people. So um, they are definitely ruthless and they do not care and they just are trying to crash and burn you down. So, um, let's see what else is going on here. So other messages right now for the collective for my channel in regards to these attacks, they're saying military attacks. So this is linked into military. It could be military operations. It doesn't need to be the United States military, but it could be like an off branch of military that would be doing it. Um, there could be operatives in different units. Like it could be different units of government. Like they're mentioning, it could be like different parts of the government, um, that are doing this. Okay. Um, so other messages around these attacks. Okay. They're saying military units have been positioned around the world to set up satellite laser systems to attack the collective energetically from remote locations. And I'm getting Baghdad, I, and I, I'm getting Baghdad, Iraq. It's a global warfare is what I'm getting right now for these systems, okay? Yeah, so anyway, so um, those are the energies that are coming in right now and other messages around these attack systems that they're doing. Anything else that the collective needs to know right now about these dark humans, dark people, their agendas, any other messages about it? Um, I'm hearing something about like civil liberties and justice for all. Um, did Linda G just talk about this on her channel? Because you guys just mentioned, you guys keep mentioning Linda G. Did she talk about something like this? I'm just curious if she has talked about something like this. 
<laughs> Thanks. Oh, okay. She wasn't talking about it. They were just saying she did a live, I, I guess. Is that what you guys are saying? Did you guys just hop over and then she finished her live? <laughs> well, hey, Linda. <laughs> she was just live. Okay. What's up, Linda? How are you doing, girl? <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, um... Yeah, I'm hearing something about military bases have been set up around the world to, to carry out these attacks on humanity. And I'm hearing civil liberties with justice for all. Like, that's what's coming in right now. So messages around this um, operation that they are trying to carry out right now. Messages around this operation that... I've been getting sovereignty too, Polly. Sovereignty. I believe there is a group named Sovereignty because I it has come up so many times that I have believed that there is an actual, some type of group named Sovereignty. Like, I think it is connected into this. Whatever it is, I keep hearing that name. Um, what country or countries are responsible for this? China, I'm getting right now. I'm hearing Black Ops coming through, PsyOps. Japan? I don't know. There's like a little Japan energy coming in. Um, might be an ops unit. Yeah. Um, I believe that that's what attacked me. I believe I was attacked by Black Ops. That's what I think attacked me. And it was because of my channel. Um... I, I believe it's a level of that. <laughs> Could be CIA, don't know. Um, I still believe there are good people out there in every single one of these lands, though. Like, I don't feel like they're all bad. I think it's just, like, there are people within these organizations or groups that there's, like, there's always, like, bad apples, like, in every group you know and I think it's just who they align with who their superiors are like it's like whatever land the people end up in or align to and that and then that's where they end up like um yeah I think there are more good people than bad people but I think they get caught up with the good people and they don't have a strong moral base they don't have a strong spiritual base and then they make the wrong decisions they get caught up in their ego and i i think they just are morally bankrupt and then like once they're in they're in like they can't leave like i don't think they can like leave this behind or they don't believe they can i mean that's the energies I have picked up on is that a lot of people are involved in this are owned and they can't leave. Like they can't physically leave because it could mean that they would be targeted or, or something along those lines. And Michelle's just sending money bags right now. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot about money. Um, and people being spiritually bankrupt. And they are showing me a cable company right now. So cable companies are involved in this for sure. Um, there are cable companies that are involved in this with the, and all 5G, Wi-Fi. Like it feels like they created a whole like network around the globe um, based on like it feels like they know the energy system and how it works and then they like built one around us that encapsulates us and keeps us trapped and yes e the light will prevail and i think a lot of this is about uncovering the truth and we have to believe that there are good people involved in these operations okay that they have come to the light i mean we really do have to pray for the people that are involved in these operations like we need to pray for the people who are involved with these dark agendas to come to the light and to have the courage and the strength to come forward. 
Like, we really need them right now. And there are military officers involved in this that are from our country. And we have to put our faith back into those people to come to the light. Like, we really do. We have to freaking start saying prayers for them. And that they are waking up. Like, the best prayers right now for these people, for the people that are involved is you would want them, you you know, I would definitely be praying for the ones in our military right now to freaking come to the light and, like, step it up. I kept getting messages, and I keep getting messages about uh, Saving Private Ryan, uh, the movie, and I keep hearing it, like, over and over again, like, Saving Private Ryan, Saving, saving Private Ryan, and I never watched the movie, so I don't know what the fuck the movie was it about saving Brian Ryan? Because I, I thought it was like about saving, like it looked like it was saving multiple soldiers. So it's like, I think it's about saving multiple soldiers. Like, I think there are soldiers right now that are trapped in situations. And I think maybe there's a group of them hooked up to my ear, like that are in Iraq right now somewhere that might be in a situation. Like, I think that they are, a lot of them are trapped and didn't know what they were getting into. Like, I feel like, some of them are in danger and have come to the light and now they don't know how to freaking get out of these situations because everything they're doing is underground right now. Definitely not connected, I don't think, to like an above board version of our military. I don't think. <laughs> I could be wrong. Um, it's just like secret mission. So it could be connected to our military, actually. It could be. Um, I'm not getting like huge validation on that, but it feels like it's like an off, an off thing of it. So, anyways, um, that's what's really going on right now. Yeah, we're getting like energetically and psychically attacked by um some some dark people, and we have to pray that they come to the light, and then we also need to call in the light into our planet, and we also have to help the planet ascend. So. We get our planet and humans to ascend and clear out all of their shadows, right? Start awakening. They start ascending to the 4D, 5D, and they really start ascending. Um, it's much harder for any of these kind of energetic weapons to attack us when we get to a higher ascension level. So that's why it's really important to protect our energies right now. Um, they're talking about like bathing in Epsom salt right now. So I guess salt baths could be really important right now. Um, cleansing your energy, saging your energy, um, high vibe, everything, you know. Um, it's like, uh, you know, I get attacked on my crown chakra. That's where I mostly get attacked energetically. And it feels like they put like a cap on my head or something. Um... So that's where it hurts me the most. But I think if you guys can get some different crystals. Polly's saying it's a good year and astrologically. So it's a good energy year. That makes sense. Because like I'm, feel, I'm feeling a lot of like power anthems coming through. You know, like I was totally getting like Sia vibes, like bulletproof. <laughs> it's like... Nothing to lose, fire away, fire away, ricochet. <laughs> like that's my anthem. Na, 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 na. Oh, it's titanium. I am titanium. <laughs> like, that's like the energy anthem that we need to be like marching in 2023. Like that's the like high intensity energy that we need to like be carrying through. Okay. As a people, as a whole, as a collective, like that's where we need to be. Um, because they're, they're, they're gunning for us. They're freaking gunning for us. And so, um, when we could like, if you guys, with COVID, okay, um, with the fears of COVID or another pandemic, bioweapons, I mean, this is, this is definitely part of that. Um, you're going to want to send that the highest vibration of love energy, like hit it so hard, y'all, like you're freaking like pretend you're Elsa and throw it out. 
but it's not going to be ice, okay? It has to be like the highest <laughs> intensity of light, okay? You got to throw it on those those um, pandemics, okay? You got to like kill the energy, okay? You have to bring it to the light. You got to bring everything to the light, okay? Everything. So um, for all of you out there, um, if you can picture their energy system that they're doing to attack us, just send it the highest vibration of light, highest, highest intensity of light energy. Just kill it with light energy, okay? Like, picture this bolts of energy coming out in such a way, like, in a massive, massive laser beam that just strikes the entire energy system with the highest divine light possible. That's what you want to do to be able to um, transcend that energy, okay? You want to transcend any lower energies into the highest vibration of love and light energies, okay? So anything that they are doing, um, if you feel energetic attacks on you, send your body the biggest bubble of love energy and it will clear everything out. Love energy is one of the highest vibrations. Love energy. Love energies, okay? You want to send your body love energies. So um, anyways, um, I will leave us there on that note, but it is important to, um, they're saying Cash Peters does really good protection stuff. Um, this is where all the healers are going to be coming in, like the the surge of healers on the on the planet, all the Reiki healers, um, the people who are doing the meditations, Steve Noble, everybody who's doing anything to clear energy, this is like their year, man. They have been preparing um, be, and they've been prepared by spirit to step it up this is their year to heal and help heal in any way all light workers intuitives that are healers okay um healers that are can see you can see the planet um you might see energies you're here to help clear the energies on the planet you're here to bring the energies up on the planet and heal them okay um enveloping us in a love blanket enveloping us in a light blanket okay that's what you're here for yeah you're welcome e you're welcome um e's stepping it up we got e from brooklyn y'all she's gonna clear that place out she's gonna clear it out she's gonna just energy energy love it <laughs> um yeah, so just send the highest, highest um, vibration everywhere. Um, and what that does, what it does is that it helps people to see the light, okay? It helps people to see the light. It helps them to come to the light. It's not going to hurt them in any way. It's going to help them to see things clearly in their life, in everything they're doing. It's going to help people to wake up. It's going to help them to understand and see cl clearly now how to get out of situations, turn their life around. It's going to do all of these really positive things. So it's really, really important um, that we are learning how to heal um, ourselves, our energy, and the planet right now, okay? So that's how we come together as a collective um, and, and, and shift the vibration of the planet, all right? So I am sending y'all so much love and blessings. And look at this orb. Fuck yeah. Sorry, I'm so excited to be seeing orbs. You know how long it's been since I've seen them, so it just makes me really happy. Oh, that was a big one. Um, oh, thanks, Polly. She was saying my biggest gift is, is showing up and embodying that energy. So you're so welcome. So, um, we will get through this and the more we keep talking and sharing our truths, the more everything is going to come out. Okay. Um, nothing is going to hide in the dark anymore. This is a, it's a new, it's a new day. We are here with the fool. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, I will check back in with you guys soon. I am doing readings. On, I will be doing readings on Thursday. And what day is it? I don't even know. Friday? No, I'll be doing readings, I think, on Friday this week if you guys want a reading. Okay? I'll still stick with Soul Path Journey for, like, my website and stuff right now. But I'll just keep the channel as Truth Warrior. Um, and we will just keep working to uncover the truth together. Okay? Love y'all. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.